Welcome back to the channel, Foam Fam. Before we get into today's video, I want to congratulate Eric Sapien, or Bionic Crawler, as he is known on Instagram. You, sir, are the second winner of our 2,000 subscriber giveaway for our Dart Zone Dictator. Congratulations, buddy. Don't forget, there's still time to comment on our Blaster Bargains 17 episode. I still haven't picked a winner for the best comment on that video yet. I've been busy and I haven't been able to pick a comment yet, so take advantage of that. Go comment on that video, guys. This is the Lizzie Gecko Sealed Breach Blaster. It is a clone of the original blaster designed by a guy named Edrian. You may have seen it, you may have not. Now this story is not gonna cover the whole cloning politics and the drama behind that. For that, you can hit the Reddit forums and the Discord to get more information on that. I do not condone own companies mass cloning original designs without authorization however this is also why I tell my 3d print brothers and sisters always trademark and patent your design because things like this are inevitable so whether you want companies to actually get away with it or not you have to take care of business and you have to do your trademarks guys anyways for those of you guys that are out there just looking for a simple sealed breech blaster that performs well mag and grip and has all the basic functions of something that packs a lot of punch in a small package the Lizzie gecko is a great choice however you might find that when shopping online, you'll see a myriad of different distributors that have these. Today, we're gonna cover three of the most popular ones and figure out what are the differences cosmetically, if there are any performance-wise, functionality-wise, mechanically-wise, if there are any, and quality. So without further ado, let's get into it. guys we're gonna start with the zen duo lizzie gecko the one that i believe is the most faithful and original copy of the original 3d print lizzie this one comes in a black box with white and green accents it does say ages six plus which i don't know anymore with these companies some of them say 14 some of them say 17 some say six and eight this is definitely not a blaster for a six-year-old you'll find out why in our performance tests molded tray you have the blaster a red dot sight you have a single mag and then when you lift up this molded tray here you have a set of 20 what appear to be these FPJs, very hard plastic rounds. You don't want to shoot anybody with these, but you guys already knew that. Quality is very, very nice. It does have these nerfy logos right here on the top of the slide. It's got the BUIC graphics here, this cool little honeycomb grip area here on the handle, and then these two little indentations here for finger accommodation. Now I have large to extra large hands, so for me, this grip is kind of perfect. But then again, this is a comparison video. This is not comparing the Lizzie in general. You can go to YouTube and find probably half a dozen videos on the Lizzie Gecko itself. It's been out for a couple years. It's a pretty good blaster. Today, we're just gonna compare the different ones. You get your basic sight with your little tab that you must pull for the battery to make contact and it become operational. It slides on pretty easily, and then you could just tighten with your finger. And that's pretty much it, guys. Your mag release is as with all the Lizzie Geckos. With this part of your thumb, you literally just lift and the mag comes out to prime. You pull from the front of the blaster back and you make sure that this locks in place once the slide comes forward and that'll give you your full prime. And there you go, guys. There's your Zen Duo Blaster. All right, guys, now we're going to go over the Amazon version of the Lizzie. This one says eight plus on the box, a little bit more closer to the recommended range, I would say, for these blasters. Tovol Zerki seems to be the Amazon distributor for these Asian blasters. Very similar packaging, just like our friends at Zen Duo with the molded packaging. Get your blaster, your mag and your sight. Same thing. You slide your sight on. Mag fits nicely. You will notice that this one, although it has the very similar quality nylon feel the Zen Duo one has, it does not have the nerf to here on the slide. So we're already starting to see a few omissions on this model compared to the original copy, which is our Zen Duo slash Bu Blaster version of the Lizzie Gecko. However, it does not compromise quality. Barrel is brushed aluminum, just like our Zen Duo variant. As far as these two, it's probably gonna come down to performance when it comes to which one is gonna edge the other. One thing I do like about the Amazon on ones is that if you lift up this tray you get a whole bunch of extra goodies instead of 20 rounds you get 80 rounds and instead of one mag you get two mags you get an extra mag hidden underneath this tray so if you buy a blaster from amazon always make sure to lift the tray out you're going to have some extra goodies here on the bottom of the box guys the team you lizzie comes in a box they cut a lot of corners when it comes to shipping as far as consolidation you'll find a lot of boxes squished together when you order from team you it's a normal practice from them i've noticed luckily this blaster was not damaged in the process so you get your blaster you get a single mag everything pretty much loose in the bag as you can see it here the only difference is you do get 20 rounds which i already 
remove them from the box because I was testing with them earlier. And then you get this weird contraption which holds nine darts and you have to like remove them by actually pushing one out with your pinky. And what I noticed is that these are regular darts and then when they sit in here, the necking on this cylinder kind of like forms the foam into like a bamboo surface. So I don't know if this is kind of like something new or an experimental. These companies are trying. I haven't seen it with any other blaster at all. Nonetheless, any other Lizzie variation of the blaster. But yeah, I found it kind of interesting. If somebody does know what this is for, it doesn't serve useful for speed loading because then again, I have to, like I said, I have to push on one end with my finger and pull it out the other with my other hand. If anything, it would be like some kind of makeshift storage. But then again, it only holds nine rounds, so it wouldn't be anything special. Maybe it's something they left in the box by mistake. I don't know guys in the comments if you know what this is for let me know but i did find that it's a pretty neat way to bamboo your non-bamboo darts <laughs> you do get your sight which does slide on just like the other ones and you get a single adjuster here so we start seeing a lot less materials being put into play here. Now you start to see a little bit of degradation on quality here in exchange for a few other things. So the plastic is definitely cheaper. So we saw with the Fire Phoenix when I reviewed it a few weeks ago, that was a far cry from the original Fire Rat by ZWQ. And you could tell by the plastic, it was a little bit less quality. You could feel that it wasn't the original nylon. This is the case with the Team U Lizzie. The texture is good and the effort is definitely there as far as trying to get the original mold and feel of the Lizzie. However, it doesn't have that matte, solid nylon feel and heft the Tovel Zerki and the Zenduo versions have. Teton Hu and Gravy here. I'm pretty sure that's just the particular manufacturer that makes this shell. And then you have a TT and an XY here. All of them seem to have this Sembalon 2077, probably some kind of a cyberpunk reference. You do feel the difference in quality. However, you do get one thing that you do not get on the other blasters with this one. That is a slide catch. So when you run out of rounds on this blaster, your blaster stays in a rearward lock position, something we see in other blasters like the Apex Legends RE45 and the SP50. This Lizzie actually has it. So for $15, also, I forgot to mention the Zen Duo one hovers right around $40. The Amazon one, you could occasionally get it for $35, but it's normally around $40. Sometimes they'll drop it all the way down to $30 if you're lucky on a good sale. This is actually $15. Now, you don't get any fancy prime shipping like you do with Amazon. With this, you got to wait your nice little one to two weeks to get because it is Team U standard shipping. They do use priority mail, but that's once it hits the States or first class mail, one of those two. So you have to wait a little while. It's not terrible. They use laser ship sometimes, which actually Amazon used to use originally. With that aside, it has a very nice anodized red aluminum barrel. Again, there's a few things that make you say, I forgive the slight lack in quality compared to the other ones for $15. It's not bad. And the slide lock is a really nice touch. Speaking of quality while we're here, this little screw which goes into the shell right here, it keeps coming out. So I'm not sure if it just de-threaded itself through vibrations while in transit. Now it's the back of the shell. There's plenty of screws on this blaster. It's not going to structurally compromise the blaster. However, I would probably get a longer one at this point just to make sure that this part of the blaster is tight. That's something I wanted to mention. I have not opened this blaster yet. So there you have it guys. There's your Team U Lizzie. And now we're going to go and do a performance check and see how all of these compare with each other. Let's get it guys. I'd like to get performance out of the way because that's normally what a lot of us look at. Most of these shot in the average of the 100s with the exception of the Team U Lizzie. That one shot in the 90s on average with the occasional 95 or 100, but the Zen Duo Lizzie along with the Amazon Lizzie did shoot consistently in the 110s. So those are basically gonna, just gonna be judged by logistics how you're able to procure them. Maybe you're not able to get the Zen Duo one, maybe you're able to get the Amazon one only, et cetera. So now we're just gonna go ahead and talk about quality. Due to the consistency and the initial quality and its fidelity to the original designer's product, Edrian, I think that the Zen Duo slash Bu Blaster variant of the Lizzie is probably the best one. When you take into account price, you do get 20 darts, you don't get a ton of them and you only get one mag, but you're getting a quality product that is faithful to the original design for the most part. Now, if you live in an area where you can't purchase from either of these companies for whatever reason, and Amazon is your sole option, then I would say that due to the amount of ammo 
and the fact that you get two mags, the fact that they seem to use the same nylon frame, although not an exact copy of the original because you don't see that nerfy engraving here. This is probably your second best choice. This is just my personal tier list. You'll probably find that one of these other blasters beats or tops the other one out for your needs. I think that for $30, between 30 and 40, which this does tend to go for on Amazon, this is probably a no brainer. I mean, you get the same brushed aluminum barrel, you have all the things you would normally need out of a blaster like this, mag release, you get your sight, and it also has this bolted on section here, which the Zen Duo one also has, but the Team U one did it, this part right here. Subjectively, you might think that the Team U one comes into a second or maybe even a first place due to the value, and I wouldn't argue with you there. It brings everything that the other ones bring at the cost of a slightly lesser quality as far as the shell goes. We do have a painted area here, which I thought was actually kind of cool. The other ones are molded nylon. If you want to have like a little bit of a consolation prize, I guess you could say, this part is painted instead of nylon. So a little bit of effort went into making it. It wasn't just a cheap clone, I would say. Anodized red adds a nice little touch to it, but the slide catch is really, I think, what makes this one stand out as far as value, like I mentioned earlier. So it's only $15. So, I mean, there's the argument that can be had that if you're just gonna buy a clone, might as well get the cheapest version of it. and. It is what it is, that's neither here nor there, but you get a working little hollow sight with it too. They didn't really cut corners and not try to give you one thing over another. You get your 20 darts, you get that weird contraption of a holder. I really hope one of you guys can point out what that is because I have no idea what that is. It looks like the dart bambooer apparatus or something. <laughs> but anyways, let me know what's your top pick for these or maybe there's another manufacturer that I didn't mention in this video that you guys have found on the internet that may have suited your financial needs or you may have found that the performance is suitable or comparable to these three models of the Lizzie that I don't know of. Let me know in the comments if you already own one, where you bought yours and how it compares to these. If you like this video, you're definitely gonna like this one. I'll catch you on the next one. Stay blasting, foam fam.